camper, propeller plane, super buggy, flying shark, UFO. Coming up after this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Crabman, and bringing you another episode of Dream Car Racing 3D. And today we're looking at some other awesome creations on the workshop. We got some ground stuff, we got some air stuff, and you, you know how it works. So we're gonna start off with this camper here. This camper was made by Scropling. And it is a solid 720 frames and 364 panels. The detail in it is actually really good. I like the way it looks a lot. It even has like, it has like the, is that a, I thought it was, an, I thought it was an air conditioning vent at first, but I think that's like the little thing that you put like your skis and stuff in, like the, the container on top of your camper. Um, it looks like it's pretty empty on the inside, ready for people to actually move in here. So uh, let's go camping. I spawned into this uh, map here just just for this vehicle. First, we're gonna drive it around a little bit just to see how it handles. And uh, actually, I think I'm going a little bit too fast right now. I don't want to lose control yet. I want to get a feel for it first, and then we're gonna take this thing off some jumps and see how it crashes. So I turned the self repair off. I don't know if this vehicle is supposed to have self repair off, but it was it was on by default, so hopefully it does okay without it. Let's see if we can drift around this corner here. Oh, don't tip over. No, t oh, I tipped over. Wait, wait, go, recover, recover. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get it back down. Yes, yes, come on, get it back down. There we go, nailed it. That's exactly what I planned to do. Perfect. All right, we're doing good so far. It looks like we didn't really take that much damage, did we? We have what these are really strong frames apparently. We have one little bit of stress in the back there. Oh, interesting. I just realized it has um compressible uh frames right here. Actually, I wonder just the turning. Are those turning frames? That's really interesting. So that actually makes it so that it can't you can't actually hit corner to corner, I don't think. Yeah, you, no matter how sharp I turn, I won't turn too sharp and actually catch edges with the camper. That's a pretty cool feature. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, let's, uh, is there a straightaway? This is kind of like a straightaway. I wanna see how fast I can go, if I can even get this thing to like, calm down. Settle down now, settle down, camper. Oh, this is not going well. This is not going well at all. I hope nobody's in back. I hope we don't have the family in back here. You guys doing okay? Y'all having fun on the camping trip? I'm really glad you let daddy drive. There was only one seat in the car, I'm sorry. And it's in the middle of the car too. <laughs> hey, what's first person look like? Ah, here we go. Now I, now I can just ignore my family screaming in the back behind me. I don't have to look at them anymore. Let's just pretend like we know what's happening back there. I'm just gonna go straight. Um, guys, you okay? You okay, everybody? All right. All right, let's find, uh, let's find a jump to go off of here. We'll get out of first person. Oh boy, that camper just does not like to stay on its wheels, does it? All right, come on, stay straight, stay straight, stay straight. Nailed it. Well, I definitely got to give it props for uh, it. It does not want to tip over, but it it I think the frames might be a little bit too strong for a good crash, but I can fix that. If we don't get a good crash out of this thing, I'm gonna fix that by weakening all of the frames. And then we're gonna see what really happens to our family on the camping trip. Oh, there's a jump. Uh, no, no, let's uh, let's slow down. Let's get, let's straighten ourselves out here. All right, now, I know what's really hard about having a trailer is backing up. Let's see if we can back up nice and straight. Oh, up, 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 right, now, down the road, down the road, nope, down the road. Oh, too much, too much, come on. There we go, all right, now it's working. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect, all right, we ready for this? Going off the jump with the camper, here we go. Let's see what happens to the Scrap Man family. Uh, ooh, oh, ooh, we flattened the hood really well there, but I feel like the camper, I feel like the camper is a little bit too strong for my liking, so let's go ahead and weaken everything up a bit and uh, see what happens. How did I get inside the camper? How did I get my whole car inside of this camper? All right, let's have some fun with this thing. All right, well, I'm just gonna select everything here and uh, I'm actually really surprised that these frames are not stronger. So I guess we're just gonna weaken everything, ultimate strength down. 
Elastic limit down. Hopefully it can still support itself. We'll go ahead and hit race. All right, we're gonna go off a different jump this time. We have to go uphill to get to this jump? I don't know. Let's see how much speed we can get anyway. We're gonna try it anyway. Hopefully the deformations work, because I, I thought all of them would have been at max strength, but it looks like they're not. All right, here we go. Woo! Oh, are we gonna make it? We're not gonna make it. Oh, we're not making it. At least the, oh, everything's deforming now. Okay, well, this is the result. We've turned into, once again, a camper car combo. My family is now enveloped by my car. All right, well, uh, leave a like for the Scrapman family because uh, they're gonna need it where they're going. Let's get on to the next creation. Okay, up next we're gonna be looking at something pretty interesting called the Realistic Propeller Plane Test by Jurst9. So here it is. Now what really interests me about this is it seems like this is built to be propelled not by jets themselves, but by the actual propellers. So we were looking for helicopters that were working just by their the helicopter blades before. This is a similar kind of concept. I think I haven't tried it yet. I don't know how well it's gonna work. It does have the word test in the title, so it's probably not the best as far as optimization goes, but I'm really curious to see what it does. So this has 382 frames and only six. Oh wait, no, that's not panels. Right, 382 frames, 32 panels, only 32 panels. Uh, let's go to the mountain map for this one. All right, here we go. So checking, do, doing my uh, my systems check here. Tail is in order, oh, that's actually unexpected. Oh, these controls are weird. This is Q and E and this is A and D. I would expect it to be opposite of that. Okay, so I have to use Q and E for roll, A and D for yaw. All righty. And then, yep, oh, okay. All right, and then we have that for the thrusters there. All right, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna see if we can take off this runway. It looks a little bit wobbly, to be honest. We're gonna see how this goes. All right, it's working. It's giving us a little bit of, a little bit of thrust here. Uh, everything's starting to shake, though. That worries me a little bit, but we're in the air. We are in the air. This is way more stable than I thought it was gonna be so far. I haven't put it to the test yet. We're just gliding right now. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. We gotta make sure we do Q and E for roll. Q and E. What's happening to my wheels? What's happening to my wheels? All right, let's see if, let's see if we can roll it. Mm -hmm. Hey, it works. It actually works way better than I thought it was going to, to be quite honest. This is actually really nice. This is really nice. I like this a lot. Let's see if we can do a loop. All right, hold on. Let's uh, get our... Whoa, we're shaking. All right, I'm gonna do a loop. Uh-oh, uh-oh, pull up, pull up. That's not the loop I was looking for. Uh-oh, I, like, I feel like something may have bent. This doesn't feel right anymore. Here, let's go. All right, we have repair on. It looks like repair is required too. I was seeing some, uh, some green flashing. All right, let's just... Can we just get back straight, please? Yeah, we need to pick up some speed. All right, all right, I think we're okay. I think we're okay, all right, we're trying to loop. Wait, it keeps it keeps wanting to turn to the left, or roll to the left. All right, we're doing a loop, we're just gonna do it. This is working. That worked way better than I thought it was going to, I gotta be honest. But if I let it go, this is what happens. It keeps wanting to roll to the left. I don't know if I did something, I don't know if something got messed up. But that's what's happening. I'm just letting you guys know. So you're not not out of the loop here. <laughs> Get it out of the loop. Out of the loop. All right, let's crash into the ground, see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that was relatively uneventful. I want to see what happens if repair is off. I have a feeling that the propellers are just going to tear themselves apart. We'll just uncheck this thing right here. Spawn into the map. All right. Place your bets now. What's gonna happen? Are the propellers gonna tear themselves apart? Are we gonna get up in the air? Stick around to find out right now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is not the way it was supposed to go. Oh, okay, no. Uh, uh, I, all right, we're in the air. That's better than I expected already. This is actually, I'm really surprised right now. How are they doing? Oh, I see some redness on one of the propellers. Why is this working? I honestly, I am surprised. We have repair off. I am, uh-oh, what did I do? Pressed F instead of 
No, I pressed R instead of E, and that repaired me back down to the ground. I am not a smart man. Let's see if we can recover from this, though. If we recover from this, oh my goodness. All right, test. This is just a test, really? This seems like a pretty well-working design here. I mean, the shaking, I, I, I guess you could probably do without the shaking, but to be honest, I mean, we don't even have repair mode on. This thing is just, it's holding itself up. I gotta be honest, this is actually a pretty good design here. All right, let's, let's dive bomb it on the ground now and see what happens that we have repair off. Geronimo! Oh, there we go. There's some damage. Now we got some damage going on. All right, uh, let's go on to the next creation then. All right, up next we're gonna be looking at Super Buggy by Nick Nicro HD Nick Necrode. Uh, all right, so this thing looked really intimidating on the workshop. Look at those wheels. Look at those wheels. This thing looks epic, and apparently he designed it with uh, his own kind of suspension design. I'm not really sure what about it is interesting. Apparently, it's like, wait, let me look. So he says this uses a hybrid suspension that he designed. It involves a pendular suspension. However, instead of a solid axle, he used an independent suspension. So it's, it's a combination between a couple of different suspensions. So I'm gonna start off, since I already have the, uh, well actually, well first 520 frames, 134 panels, we're gonna start off on the on the map that I'm already in, which is the mountain map. Um, actually, let's take it up, let's take it up behind me, right, ooh, four wheel steering, that's gonna be interesting. I could probably flip over really easy, let's see what happens. Ooh, there we go, nice roll there, oh, whoop, okay. Ooh, interesting. Actually looks cool from underneath, now that I look at it. How are we doing though, how are we doing? This thing is bouncy. Well, I hope I didn't damage it. Let's just take it off of this mountain stuff here really quick. See see how it how it looks, how it handles. Look at that suspension absorb. Can we get up here? Oh, we're bouncing. We're bouncing. You know what? I just I wanted to go this way anyway. This is what I meant to do. I just wanted to use this as a jump right here. And there we go. We missed the runway. But you know what? I just I felt like uh, cartwheeling down the hill, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cartwheel down this hill here. And we're gonna jump off right here. Woo, this thing is awesome for jumps though. It just bounces right off the lips of those jumps. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna make our way down the hill. Uh, my engines, my forward stopped working. My backwards works, but I, I can't press. I hope my W is still working on my keyboard because it's not working in the game. All right, well, this is our life now. We're just gonna tumble down this mountain like like we just don't care. Putting our wheels in the air like we just don't care. <laughs> Look how fast this thing is going. Do we have repair mode on? We must have repair mode on. This is incredible. Oh, this is not. Oh, oh, are we gonna, are we gonna land it? Are we gonna land it? Place your bets now. Are we gonna land on our wheels? So close! No, but we did not land on our wheels. All right, well now that we're down here, let's actually test this thing on some hills. Let's see how this thing does. Oh, this thing's got some speed for sure. This thing has got some speed for sure. Look at that. That hill was no problem, but I did not slow down quite enough for that, but that's okay. Do some more cartwheels, do some more gymnastics. Gymnastics buggy. There we go, perfect, nailed that. We get a nice jump right here. This is really fun. Look at this, can we do the backflip? No, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna transfer into a uh, double round off back tuck 360 and a half. Lots of tilting, lots of absorption going on. And I just love the way it handles these lips of the jump. Look at that, it just, it just bounces you right up. Look at that. That was actually pretty legit. Except I bounced a little bit up. Oh, there we go, we're all good, we're all good. And it does seem to like to turn on to its wheels too, so that's always a plus. Definitely a fun off-roader, especially for this map. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this map to uh, to be this fun with this thing, but I forgot that there was all this other stuff outside of the mountain itself. All right, excellent creation there, uh, Nick Nick Road. I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. But uh, let's get on to the next one. Okay, up next, we actually have something that I've actually had in my subscriptions for quite a while now, but never got around to using it yet. So this is the Shark by Alexandria. Apparently this is a flying shark that swims through the air. So this is what it, ooh, that's actually, that looks pretty legit. Got a wheel sticking out on the bottom, must be interesting. 
But uh, I can see, I can see how it flies now. I see all the wings and stuff. So this thing has 388 panels and 222, uh, 388 frames, 222 panels. We're gonna go ahead and spawn this thing. We're already in the perfect mountain map for this. And uh, let's see how this thing works. All right, here we go. Apparently it's got red eye, oh, that, that is creepy right there. All right, okay, oh, what? Oh, I am looking forward to this. Oh, I am looking forward to this. Here we go. Huh. We're flying. Whoa! Whoa! It's a little wobbly. <laughs> What's happening? What? Are you serious? <laughs> I don't. What did we just do? All right, free ride. What did we just do? Don't tell me this thing is too unstable. I'll, I'll use it how I'll make it as unstable as I want. What about, what about this? All right, down, up. Oh, that looks cool, but that is not how a shark swims. We can roll, apparently. All right, if we go up. I like how the body bends. All right, now that that's done, let's turn again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turning is apparently really sensitive on the body. You can't hold it too much, otherwise this. <laughs> Look at the body. Look at the body. Oh, it's fantastic. I wish I could just watch that happen. Oh, let's do it in slow motion. Let's do that in super slow motion. We're gonna turn the body and then hopefully before the sign, before the warning comes up that says unstable, we can uh, actually see what's happening here. All right, let's go ahead and fly off. All right, let's go down. We'll go down to 20 times for now. How, how low can we go? Yeah, 20 times is the lowest we can go. All right, here we go. I'm turning. All right, maybe this is too slow. Let's go 10 times. All right, let's five times. Two times. We're gonna wait for it to, oh, it's getting out of control. We're gonna slow down now. Oh, it is wobbling. We're gonna slow down a little bit more. It looks like it's getting even more out of control. What's happening to its head? Oh, and slow down to 20 times. Oh, when's it gonna tell us it's too unstable? Oh, look at its face. Look at its face. Look at its body. Look at everything. What? It's not telling us it's- does slow motion override it? I think we just- oh, there it goes. It's actually just frozen. It's not even giving me the warning anymore. Uh... Mr. Shark? Mr. Shark? Looks more like a seahorse now, don't you think? Now he's Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Shark has turned into Mr. Seahorse. See, this is what happens. This is what happens when you become an unstable shark. You get some identity crises going on and you just kind of contort yourself into a seahorse. Just just because he was born with deadly razor sharp teeth and rough scaly skin doesn't mean he has to identify as a shark. You know, he could be a seahorse at heart and this is just him living out his dream of becoming that seahorse and freezing my game. All right, but seriously, it's like it's like legit frozen. I gotta, I gotta, yep, yep, yep. There we go. All right, you know what? No, go be, go be a seahorse on your own time. Yeah, I, I don't need you crashing my game. Here. Okay, we're back. Seahorse shark has uh, has gone away. He's in the background, but just ignore that. Uh, we're going to be spawning in something new here. We're going to be spawning in two UFOs to end off the episode. We're going to see what the differences are between them. We have one UFO by Alexandre. We're going to take a look at this one first. All right, so here it is. Looks very nice, looks very compact, very small. It's even got some wheels on the bottom too. We'll be able to drive it around, it looks like. It's got 166 frames and 83 panels. Let's spawn it into the mountain map and see uh, see what kind of abductions we can make here. All right, so looks like it just drives around like normal. I don't know what the, that symbol is. What, what is that? Oh, we're falling off. Okay, no problem. We'll just roll with it. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> is this what, is, is this what UFOs are supposed to do? All right, I'll, I'll go with it. Go with that. And apparently we can use arrow key. Oh, using arrow keys to turn is not, okay, we can roll like that. I don't know what he means by use arrow keys to turn because when I do arrow keys, this is what happens. It seems like a terrible, terrible way to have turning. But you know what? We have roll, and uh, and we have pitch. So I guess I guess we can roll with that. Let's see if we can do a front flip. Front flip is a little less. Oh no, we're getting into it now. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we lost it. What happened? What, what's going on here? I'm. UFO is out of control. Turn on the lights. Let everyone know we're coming to. Oh. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We are good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this thing. Can we do a roll? That's good too. Alright, but. This UFO flies, but it does not hover. That's what I would expect a UFO to do, is to hover. But let's see if we can land this UFO on this. We are definitely not going to do this. These controls are very difficult for me to control. Ugh. I'm like going all the way across the keyboard here. I'm using A and D for roll, and I'm using I and K for pitch. So you try doing that. All right, come on. Did you pull up? All right, good. All right, we're going to see if we can land on that platform. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna land right on it. We're landing right on it. And we missed. <laughs> I just wanted to crash into, oh wait, no, we got it. There we go, nailed it. What happened? What happened to our, what happened to our cockpit windows? We're doing some really weird UFO stuff now. It looks like, now the alien has the tinfoil hat, except it's a glass hat that's floating above his head. Be fitting of an alien, I think. All right, well, uh, the, oh, we, we did some damage there. I, I did not expect, I'm not in control anymore. I'm not in control. The aliens have taken over the ship. The aliens have, now that's, now that is a flying saucer right there. That is a flying saucer. Oh, that is great. We don't even want to hit the ground. Oh, there we go, we hit the ground. Now we are, now we're a wheel. Now we're just a wheel. That's all it is. Just a wheel. All right. Well, that was the uh, that was the first U UFO. Let's let's take a look at the next one. And here we go. UFO. This one is UFO final version by Nick Rode. So this one I think is shaped a little bit differently. I don't know if it ooh, works at all differently. This is actually looking to be really interesting. This is not what I expected. Looks different in person. Hmm. The way that this looks, it almost makes me wonder, are these gonna be rotating freely around the center or is it gonna rotate everything at once? By the way, this thing is 266 frames and 202 panels. All right, it's just it's just sitting here. Let's see if I can get my controls down. Whoa, okay, all right, so this one does hover, which is really interesting and apparently, oh my goodness. It does spin. It does, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. We're off balance. We are off balance. Uh, what is going <laughs> What have we turned into? What have we turned into? No. All right, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, we're gonna have to respawn. Actually, let's just let it, let's just let it hit the ground, see what happens. Uh, oh, what? This thing is, this thing is deadly. This is like a spinning blade now. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know, I just, I honestly don't know what to do with this. All right, let's go back into the ground, I suppose. Here we go. Oh, it's doing it again. It's doing it again. <laughs> that is awesome that it spins too fast and it just stretches the body out, but it stays intact. It's probably because repair mode, yeah, repair mode is definitely on. Definitely on. All right, so the weird thing about the controls on this again is it says arrows to rotate the inner piece so we can change our direction and also arrows to go forward and backward. But this is what my arrows do. My arrows do this to the camera. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on with the controls as far as that goes. Are there different arrows that I'm not aware of? If I use the number pad, nothing happens. So we can't use the arrows, unfortunately. Figured it out, apparently arrows just means W-A-S-D. Yep, W-A-S-D goes forward and stuff. Okay, so now I need to use two hands, apparently, for this. Wait, what does first person look like? Oh, <gasps> first person UFO. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, I think I was supposed to activate the gyro first. Here, let's do that. So, there we go. Look at that. So I guess this has like a gyroscopic effect, which is really, really cool. I wish it could just stay on by default, though. All right, we'll just, we'll just keep the, oh, maybe not. Maybe it shouldn't stay on by default because that's, apparently that's what happens. All right, let's just go back to normal. Let's just do it a little bit, a little bit of a gyro. All right, now let's go up now that it's spinning nice and free. 
Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Now we can go forward. It's working. It's working. We're doing it. All right, what's first person like now? Well, let's uh, let's look down first person. All right, apparently in first person. Oh, we can't see anything in first person. All right, this is what first person's like. All right, let's stop, stop spinning. Let's slow down, slow down. There we go. There we go. Now everything is nice and fine, right? Um, right? Right? Yeah. All right, let's let's start spinning again. Uh, something's off balance. Something is a little bit off balance, but it does stabilize us just a little bit. Oh, except we're gonna hit the wall. We're gonna hit the, we hit the wall. I'm the worst alien pilot ever. Well, this is definitely very different. <coughs> very different than the other UFO for sure. Uh, it works in a completely different way. The other one was more like a soaring UFO. This one is uh, this is just a giant saw blade that is gravitating toward this mountain at a very fast rate. Slow-mo crash, here it comes. Oh, that looked beautiful. It's like a skirt. That actually was really satisfying. This thing is really cool to watch in slow motion. Let's keep it spinning. When the edges hit, and it just like goes all the way around the perimeter. It's it's like watching the pottery thing with when they're when they're making the pottery on the spinning on the spinning wheel. It's like so satisfying to watch. I don't know why I find this so mesmerizing. All right, well that was really fun. We had some really cool creations today. Let me know which one was your favorite. We're gonna wrap up the episode here. Make sure you check the links down in the description for uh, more ways to interact with me and the channel. Oh boy, oh, we're going down the hill. We are going down the hill. All right, you know what, that's fine. That's fine, we're gonna keep it going. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed if you enjoyed this video because I've released gaming content like this pretty much daily unless unless, I, unless something bad happens or I uh, get, get too tired or something, which happens on occasion. Yep, hope you enjoyed it. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.